What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Heels Act and specifically all the details of it. I made a past video on, you know, the second stimulus package update. It was about the Heels Act, but in this video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the exact details and we're going to talk about who it really benefits and actually how it may potentially go beyond another payment. So the HEALS Act, much like the first CARES Act or the first stimulus check, is just $1,200 per individual that made $75,000 or below, going up to $99,000 at a discounted rate from that point. They're also looking to extend PPP protection, which stands for Payroll Protection Program, to really help keep the businesses keep their people employed so they can keep paying them even if they're potentially not working right now or just working at um, you know, way less hours than from, from before. As well as they're talking about a employee retention tax credit for the business owners to, you know, win paying workers. And what that really is, is that under the program, an, um, an employer can receive refundable tax credits for wages paid to an employee during the pandemic. So the employer can then use the credits to subtract and even receive a refund over the taxes that they owe. So, you know, giving business owners a tax credit for paying their employees. There's also been talks of a return to work payment up to $450 per week. This is not in the HEALS Act, but you know, we can see under Portman's plan, the weekly bonus would go to laid off workers who return to work. So even though it's not in the plan, there's expressed interest for this idea and you could potentially earn up to $450 per week as a bonus going from unemployed to employed back to your original job or just back to work in general, kind of paying uh, individuals to go back to work. Sounds like a great job to me. Get paid even more money to go back to work. That will get people back to work because right now with the amazing unemployment benefits at $600 per week, it's looking like nobody is going to want to go back to work unless they take that away potentially. But, you know, talk about a way to get people back into their jobs and give them a $450 bonus each week. Genius. As well as they're looking to add rental assistance to help keep people in their homes. So in the original um, HEROES Act, it wasn't part of the Senate proposal, but President Donald Trump agreed and said that eviction protections would be a part of the package. There's also talks of rental assistance. So for those who cannot pay their rent to pay their landlord, even though they, you know, have created programs for the landlords or the homeowners to potentially, you know, defer their mortgage payments, you know, like the forbearance acts, um, there is nothing necessarily to save any renters if they currently can't afford their, you know, properties like renting out the apartment or the homes. But also in some states, there are evictions extensions as of now, like the state I live in in Florida. Currently, you cannot evict the tenants. So that's been going on for three or four months. So if those tenants have not been paying, there is nothing to help them, no type of program to give them money to pay their landlords. So some of them will just not pay in general because they know they're not stupid and they cannot get evicted. So rental assistance would be huge for those individuals that, you know, for some reason don't qualify for, you know, the max amount of the stimulus checks as well as, um, you know, are just getting now a decreased amount of un unemployment. Some type of rental assistance would be huge in this next coming up package. There's also talks of a payroll tax cut to give more money in your pocket um, when your checks come in every two weeks or whatever that is on your job. So the proposal would include tax cuts for both the employer and the employee. So to decrease the amount of taxes that they have to pay to the government, um, you know, to put more money in their pack in their pocket at the time of their checks coming in because right now money is crucial so instead of you know waiting another three four months um, for the end of the year to come when taxes come they could potentially get that money now so overall that's it for you guys I hope you liked the video you know those were just some of the ideas that were thrown out with the new heels act um, and some of the benefits that would actually go beyond just the twelve hundred dollars so 
Make sure you like, subscribe for more weekly content on the next stimulus checks and updates and comment down below you know, which you found to be your favorite, whether it be rental assistance or some type of payroll tax cut. Let me know and I'll see you in the next video.